Hey and welcome back to the World's Greatest Shave live series. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Uh, if this is your first time joining, this is a four part series um, with Sustainable Salons and our partnership with the World's Greatest Shave. So uh, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, I'm Chris, I'm the Sustainable Salons uh, Business Development Manager for New South Wales. Um, yeah, I've been with this company now two and a half years and um, yeah, recently had my head shaved. Um, it was down to probably around about the logo um, and recently had my head shaved for the World's Greatest Shave, a charity very close to my heart. So uh, yeah, I've been doing this uh, World's Greatest Shave series. Sadly, this is the last one, um, but I'm really excited to have um, well, introduced uh, my guest for today, which is Charlotte from Bob Hair in South Yarra. So I think she's just requesting to join. Also, I'd quickly say, if you have any questions for me or Charlotte, please put them in the comments and uh, we'll um, at the end of our chat we'll uh, go and uh, go through and answer those questions really proud i remembered that i've forgotten for the last three so i um, glad i remembered this time bob melbourne here we go give it a couple of seconds just gonna wait for the hi time. hello good how are you hi how are you going yeah very good thanks yeah, can, you, can, can you hear me okay all that text working perfect uh, thanks for joining me on the uh, World's Greatest Shave live series. Um, yeah, just wanted to have a bit of a chat with you. I know you've done a bit around it, uh, been a bit busy over the last uh, week or so uh, with the World's Greatest Shave. But to start with, you've been with us since our partnership with the World's Greatest Shave in 2018. Yes. Um, I believe so. Yep. <laughs> this is what I'm told. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just wanted to have a chat with you, like what you thought of the partnership, the collaboration with the World's Greatest Shave um, and the hairdressing industry, because obviously it's something really powerful um, uh, to sacrifice your identity, shaving your head or having to cut your hair. So just what does it mean to be involved with your salon and to be a, world's, uh, to be um, a sustainable look, salon we, I mean, I love being um, part of sustainable salons. It's been something that we've... Um, We've been with Sustainable Salons for four years, coming up in June, and um, I just think they're an incredible company just through and through with everything they do, all the initiatives. Um, you know, it there never goes a day where we, don't, we aren't chatting about something to do with Sustainable Salons and how far um, you guys go um, to, you know, just with recycling, supporting the planet, supporting salons, um, just everything you do really. So, I mean, I'm, yeah, Bob's a huge fan. Um, and then as far as the world's greatest shave goes, I think, look, it's obviously something that came, um, you know, to our minds um, through you guys. So in 2018, um, Bob as a salon, we've always um, yep. tried to pick um, a charity annually um, to support. Um, so it can be something different. However, um, in 2018, we thought, what an amazing initiative and an amazing foundation um, and, you know, what, they, what they're trying to do. Um, and I love the, the fact that, you know, Sustainable Salons was such a big part of it and was there to support. So that was kind of a natural one to veer towards um, two years ago. Um, we raised um, a good amount of money yep. um, back then. And then... Um, Last year, unfortunately, we couldn't get involved due to COVID. Um, so we actually uh, are doing some fundraising for bushfires, which is completely yep. different, but that's what we did at the beginning of the year. And then we thought, you know, getting okay. back into it this year for 2020, what a, what a great way to – 2021, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Um, get back on board because we had such fun doing it the first time round. Um, yeah, it was, it was heaps of fun. So obviously it went on for six weeks and we did our um, – we raised funds for half a day in the salon, um, donated all the profits to that. Um, this year we took it a little bit further though. Um, okay. Yeah, tell us about <laughs> that. Um, this year how, how it was a six week um, fundraiser. Um, we um, had yep. some $20 express treatments that we did in salon um, for the entire six weeks. Um, client who had one. 100% of the okay. profits went towards um, the world's greatest shave. Um, we got a few people on board to that. It's pretty hard to say oh. no to. <laughs> um, and um, we did, again, we did a half a day where, you know, we gave our time. 
um, and 100% of the profits um, went to the world's greatest shave also for packages that we were doing. So um, treatment and cut and blow wave packages and treatment and blow dry packages, which we all got involved on. Every stylist and um, apprentice in the salon got on board with that. And then lastly, we did um, the shave last Thursday in the salon that you may have seen. Yeah. So, and that was really exciting. Yeah, I did. I couldn't believe um, a girl, Scully, 12 year old, going full number, yeah. full number two. Um, the legend. Um, and, you know, she managed oh, wow. to raise $2,000. So that's amazing. So I think just. It really just brings um, just the community together and gets everyone doing something together, which I think is incredible, especially after the year we had last year. Um, yeah. So, I mean, we've loved it and we're just, um, you know, huge fan. And it's, you know, it's even better that sustainable salons happen to be a part of it. Yeah, oh, like we love being a part of it. And I think uh, a huge a shout, shout out to be said for you guys because – you know, like you said, after COVID last year, a really tough year, and I'm sure financially that had yeah. an impact on you like it has every salon, and yet you still gave up a large chunk of your profits this year to do yeah. treatments and packages um, for charity. So, like, for, um, for doing that and yeah. um, donating. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, this year uh, we're doing the $25 special uh, cut um in partnership with the world's greatest shave so when people are head shaved they can go um, yep. find a sustainable salon that's participating if you go to salons.org um if you're watching or um, watch this later yeah you can still go there find out your local salon and have a world's greatest shave logo on, and they can get involved and um yeah get a 25 five dollar tidy up cut that they've had their head shaved and so my question is to you, as a member, why is uh, a follow-up hairdressing service so valuable to someone who has just shaved their oh, head? Or... Sorry, you just cut out that for that last little chunk. Yeah, that's all right. No, it's a question just asking you, why, as, as a hairdresser, why is the service so um, important for someone who's just yeah. shaved their head? Or just... Sorry, um, but it's to... not the best uh, connection right now, but that's okay. I'll try and go ahead. Um, look, I think... Um, it's huge. I mean, look, the first cut after you've shaved your head for whatever reason you're shaving for is it's, it's probably one of the most um, important cuts. I think um, it can be quite emotional for some people. Um, it can be, you know, such a huge deal. And when you're growing it back out, um, I think it just, it just empowers you that little bit more getting a beautiful cut, feeling confident um, after having having done that, whether it's been for a charity or whether you've gone through chemo and had to take it off, or um, you know for whichever reason, it's it's it's. I think it's super important. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel um, just looked after. And I think that you know they don't all grow out the same, and it can be hard to grow out um, a head shave. And yeah. so yeah, I think that first cut's really important, just to kind of get yourself back and and feeling you know feeling good and and fresh for whatever reason I'm, I'm probably more speaking from the perspective of someone who's had to shave it due to you know chemo um which i've a client and it was a bit of an emotional ride yeah. and you know came back in um it was a big thing it was a huge thing for her to get that cut and to really have that um chat about um you know where she wanted to go with it how she wanted to grow it out and how she could start feeling like herself again so i think it's it's yeah it's a beautiful experience when you can share that with someone um, but it can also be really tough yeah absolutely i can i can only imagine i'm not a hairdresser myself but you know it's one of these uh, amazing skills that hairdressers have yeah you have the ability to make someone feel special whether they you know and and in that kind of scenario it's a really special um opportunity yeah. to yeah make someone feel someone uh, special and yeah and you make it you do really end up making time. um connection when you're going through that with them i think you've taken them you know, you've taken them to the extreme of, of potentially shaving um not necessarily a thing that they want to do but maybe that they have to do and then you're at the other end when you're making them feel so it's it's quite an amazing opportunity to be part of that with a client, um, you know, um, I don't think we'll get that.
it's like a real connection and touch. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, I would say that I probably didn't say much in a way. I think social media can have positive and negative impacts, but it's uh, really educated me in terms of that. Like a lot of people now document their, yeah. their cancer journey and their treatment and when they're doing the show. I remember, uh, I've forgotten the name of the person, but she documented it. And um, yeah, it's incredibly moving to hear her story and how hard it was when she did have to air and shave it off. So yeah, it's um, yeah, yeah, very difficult time for those people going through it. So like amazing effort with your fundraising. Um, what would you say to other businesses, other people wanting to get involved uh, with the What's Great to Shave? You kind of, you tips of what you've done. Look, I think, I think it's say, such um, a great thing to get involved with. I think it's quite an easy thing to get involved with. And like, look, we went, you know, we probably did it a little bit more than maybe some of the salons would do. But, um, you know, I think you can, you can get involved however, you know, however small or high you want to go. And I think even just doing like express treatments, um, you know, they don't necessarily take more time in the salon, but you do get, you can raise a lot of money quite fast doing it and it's for a beautiful cause. Um, I think, look, I think if you want to be part of something amazing and, you know, um, if you're that way inclined and want to support a cause, I think it's a, a beautiful one to support. And especially if you're a sustainable salon, it kind of goes hand in hand. So you really do have that support from sustainable salons in any facet along the way. So it's a lot easier to kind of raise money and, um, you know, ask for help if need be, um, or even ways you can raise money. So there's lots of different ways to do it. It's just depending on what, you know, how and, and, and what you want to do. And like, we just do it as a team because we come from all the, all the staff in the salon. They're like, why don't we do this, that? Most of the ideas have myself, they've come with us and the apprentices, which is really beautiful. So it gets us all together as a team. And then we go from there and kind of decide how we're going to do it. Yeah. Okay. No, that <laughs> sounds great. And look, what you, like, yeah. what you touched on. That's how we was that on? Yeah, no, definitely. Great. You know, we've had a great time. Yeah. I look, and that's what I found when I did my fundraiser for my head shape, but helped dozens of salons set up a fundraiser and it's kind of like you i get lots of ideas from them they come up with an idea and it's yeah. like well, that's a great idea i'll tell another salon about it so get in contact with your sustainable salons account manager is a really good place to start because we've got lots of exactly. resources we can connect you with the world's greatest shave lots of ideas to help support you with that so um yeah i think that's a great tip but uh how much do you, if you're happy to share how four thousand four hundred and forty three dollars more that's than amazing. last time yeah so last time yeah. it, well, from memory oh, i think it was all... around three eight but we didn't do the but we didn't do the treatments and stuff so last time okay. we just did the half you know the half day in salon um and then we did and stuff like that whereas here we did that that little extra so it kind of plugged a little bit more which is awesome Yeah, but you learn every time yeah. you do it and you want to try something different, don't you? And uh, so uh, keep, and keeps I, it yeah, fun. I and think with the treatments and stuff, all our, um, in. all our supplies and stuff were pretty amazing. So Mr. Smith came, thought it was an amazing cause and, you know, gifted us treatment for back bar so we could support that. Do you know what I mean? So a lot of support from our Legend. awesome suppliers. So a very big thanks to Smith. <laughs> Bigly. Oh, always start yep. i used to be a product rep reach out to them they've always got these are freebies and samples that they will give to you yeah you're telling them you're doing a fundraiser actually the whole bag put together a hamper for you which is a pretty yeah. big thing from their yeah. part so it was really really lovely of them yeah get on them for doing it you know and um yeah for like, do it that's so a, good. the good thing about pop everyone helps out yeah oh good on them so yeah that's pretty much it for our chat i'll uh, look through see if anyone's um got any questions for us so if you've got any questions just ping them through <laughs> just a few people saying hi no no questions 
Right. God, it's the one week I tell people to write questions, and it's the right. one week we don't get any questions. So. <laughs> but, no, thank you so much for coming on. So, uh, really. Ah, no, thanks for supporting us, being a sustainable salon member, supporting the world's greatest shave, and um, yeah, for raising $4,000. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for hopping on. No worries. See you, see you Charlotte. Bye. Cool. So that's it for uh, the World's Greatest Shave live series. Um, this is our fourth final episode. So we've had four. Um, yeah, thanks for anyone who's uh, tuned in. Um, yeah, and anyone who's got involved. Like, uh, I've really enjoyed doing it. I absolutely love um, being involved in anything to promote the World's Greatest Shave. I think it's an amazing charity and I love the work they do. So, um, yeah, if you're thinking about getting involved, definitely do it. Reach out to us or the world's greatest shave. Uh, we'll point you in the right direction and try and give you some tips and um, connect you up so you can get a fundraiser going. Um, don't even have to shave your head if you don't want to. There's loads of other fundraising things that you can do. But um, no, thanks so much for watching. I've uh, really enjoyed doing these. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe next year or something like that. Uh, but until then, um, see you guys soon. Bye.